Hey guys, Potter here today with another YouTube video. So we got you some Hecarim gameplay. I'll be releasing a guide quite soon on Hecarim because he is a very strong champion. And for anyone who is in lower MMRs, you should be playing Hecarim. It's super easy to play, uh, in my opinion. You just have to clear your camps, you clear to one side, and then on the gank, uh, whichever side you end on, you just have three sacks Q if you can, and you pop E, pop Ghost, and you just send it on the guy, on the person you're trying to kill, and it's just rinse, rinse and repeat over and over. You just keep doing the same thing. You full clear down to the lane you're passing to, and you just E onto them and press R, and you just kill them. And always be mindful of your stacks. Like, having Q3 is very important. When I say Q3 like that, I mean, like, having three Q stacks, because then you do more damage on your Q, and you have your Q on your lower CD. But now let's just look at the runes. It's just a standard phase rush, Nimbus, celerity water walking with Triumph and ability haste, uh, legend ability haste. Pretty good uh, runes. Uh, I just warded there, I think, just to not get invaded, uh, cheese invaded. Um, yeah, just uh, for Hecarim, the one thing you just need to keep in mind, Hecarim's game will always be good as long as you don't get invaded on your first clear, pretty much. If you get CD boots first base, your game is always good because your first clear is a clear to where you just want to clear all your camps and get level four uh, and just get your points and your abilities. Usually you do two points Q so you can clear a lot faster. And just also keep in mind, just watch how I clear up my camps, how it's very efficient um, and like very fast. Also, yeah, my balling died this game and I dropped a fat nuke on the enemy team. Just to show like why Hecarim can be very broken. But yeah, continuing on like how you should be playing Hecarim is that you want to just get your first clear off and get CD boots first base. To where after you get that, your champion is very strong at doing anything. It can farm very fast, it can fight. And uh looks like looks like I decided to do E level three. Um probably because maybe while I'm doing my blue or something, uh, maybe I can get a gank. Usually, you just should do two points Q. I think I should have done it this game. I don't know why I did E, but maybe it was just for, just in case. But my clear would be like a couple seconds faster, but did do two points Q. But sometimes you can't always greet your clear um, on certain champions, so Oh, for some reason, I can only think of Hecarim right now, but some champions, they want to do two points in Q, right? Or like, Kane can do it also. Um, just to clear faster. But some games, like, you want to just skill all your abilities just in case, because maybe something can happen, you know? While you're on your fourth, fifth, or sixth camp, you know? Especially to the side you're passing to. If you're passing to a side where nothing will happen, then just clear your camps, you know, in peace. No, it's not whether or not I should just give this uh, crab. Then I pick and go. Oh, no, never mind. Oh. Oh, I had Kodaija and Kaido. This was a while back, actually, when I played this game. This is uh, pre Hecarim buffs. So I have to defend my ball, it looks like, one time. Make sure you don't get dove. Game looks very hard right now, actually. Decided to clear, uh, decided to greed higher gold base and just take my double crab. So now my pathing, because I didn't uh, decide to base for the CD boots, I'm playing for CD boots plus like swords. So I get this crab, do my top side base, and then play for a bot side play. And it looks like Kha'Zix decided to re bot side. He sat there. So that means his Gromp is up because we know he passed down uh, based on their early information. So we get a free leveled up Gromp, which is pretty big uh, in terms of XP. I'll be 6 very early this game because of this Gromp. I'll be 6 on the My Wolves, probably. Something like that. So if a jungle ever overstays like that, like when they're first camp that they've done spawns at like 415 roughly usually you can get a free leveled up camp we're just gonna do our clear again and because that i took that gromp kha'zix i'll have a bigger goal next lead but remember that kha'zix is now homeless uh one camp earlier 
well not homeless but he would be looking for something to do because he cannot steal my camps so he only has his own camps to do so in a way he's up one camp on the he's he's on the map one camp earlier than me so you see how like he's here because like he couldn't take my anything on the map right I'm not sure if glowy mode is the buy there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's sword, but no, oh, maybe it was like testing it during this time. Public showed mid for some reason, and now we know like we're gonna hit six off our bot camps. And I ping that my level six XP is very close. If we let me play for it here, we will win any like three three because Kha'Zix is nowhere near level six. My champion Hecarim is a very level six type champion unless like they like overextend on a play to where like they I have. Q3, uh, and I'm able to just fight on that CD. Yeah, I'm picking that by Weasel Fights, because I'm level 6. You play so, make sure you don't fully send it, because I'm very easy to kill. So we use our phase rush, we use our ghost, and we cut it out. And then we get a triple kill. And just like that, the game is now in my control. I can carry this game now. Cannot do dragon. Dragon takes too long to do. So we're just gonna take the crab and base. My bot camps aren't top camps aren't spawning yet, so let's do the crab. Yeah. Wow, I don't even bait, bro. I just greed a lot this game looks like because I have to carry my ball in. But we can always win. Like, Hecarim Camille with the TF is very, very scary, like, mid game for enemy team to deal with. A lot of playmaking on our side. We have a lot of damage in the lockdown. So, whoever their main carry is, we, like, we will try to kill them. They don't have like the best type of peel. I mean, they have Skarner. Um, oh yeah, uh, Kha'Zix tried to invade me here on three stacks Q. So, you know, we can never lose that. And yeah, we just won. Probably could have held my E a bit more. Um, don't know if he... I should use my E to cancel his E. And if I have good reaction time, you can always cancel it. You can cancel by reacting to it. But we get a free kill on Kha'Zix, he decides to invade me. Like I said, like, he's very homeless this game. Like, he can only do his camps. Well, I'm always going to be up full level now, especially after the ball play. So as long as I just farm my camps, they make the play. And, uh, like, any play I do now will be winning. It should be winning. So once I do my full clear and make a play, I'll just be up a level every time. Like, I'll just be up more and more XP after every play. And then that's how you get, like, three, four level leads on this champion. Because you clear very fast, and you're, the way you gank... Is based off your camp tempo, really. Like, skipping camps is not ideal on this champion. Well, 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 like, if you play like Jarvan and like Sejuani and like Malachi and stuff, like, you, you can skip camps, you know, because it doesn't really matter. But like, Hecarim, you need a lot of levels to really carry the game. Well, my team doing some unique plays here. But we do get to this play in time and clean up two kills. We go into Kha'Zix first because he has no jump. And we should try to save our TF there. I bet some people go for the Relder just because it's a free kill, but it should always be the the Kha'Zix there, because we saw that he burnt his leap. And now this is where I want to do Dragon, because I actually have enough damage to do it. I see you see me spamming Q. Uh, I mean, I have a blue up, so it's just really fun spamming Q off CD. Do a streak, and then guess what we're gonna do after the streak? Give you five seconds to think about it. It's a quick full clear. It's just. It's just he just spoke there again. And now I'm just gonna be up like two levels on this stronger. And this is like a high GM challenger game I'm playing in. There's some known uh, NA names. My phone just went off. I don't know if you heard that, but. We're still looking bot though while doing our clear because if a random fight does happen, we will be here for it. And you see how I prep my stacks for it too. There's a TP and it's just a 3 3. Oh, it's actually a 3 3 4. 
And I'm trying to focus the Draven, but it looks like I can't because I might die if I commit too hard. Might need two ghosts, but it's okay. And we kind of should just keep going here because Cosmic is top side, so we're at a number advantage, so we should play a dive here always. We got Draven, we cleanse. I want to make sure I don't die, right? Because I have a very big bounty, so. I'm gonna take his camps because he's probably taking my my camps after he took uh heralds or grubs actually not heralds sorry because he was topside and i'm planning to tax this wave probably because i want to cross so i want to keep my stacks up just in case any random fight happens and then see make sure he does take it uh because i am very close to my next item We're going to start the sky. I think uh, I was doing a build before Cleaver became popular. Um, second item. But I do like Sunder Sky a lot for more like skirmish heavy type games. I don't have my ult yet, so I'll to be careful of just taking a fight here. Like, you want to fight on your ult CD unless like they're really overextending reds. If you fight on your old CD, like you're winning, you know. No, no, I was trying to make something happen there. It's kind of weird. Scar decided to make a play mid here, I and mean, we got a kill on him. Wow, actually crazy. This is when Skarner was OP, guys. Like, when that happened to me, when I was playing the game, I was like, yeah, well played Riot Games. That was very, very interactive to deal with. I know Cosmos is bot side, that's why I went to up to my top side. It's very, the bot side is danger for me. Don't want to get my shutdown. I'm 9-0, trying to carry the game. Anything happened bot side, can't do anything about it. I got pushed up or pushed off the bot side of the map. This was just ball side, so top side should be up. And we should play to fight top side here. I'm very strong, so. It's a joke. We actually plan to get out. A lot of gold. We should probably play base. Get our items like. Should probably buy a, uh, should buy a Ruby Crystal there, I feel like. Because. HP is better than damage here, because you should do enough damage if you have Q stacks, you know? And we're forcing a big fight here, because we are very strong. And playing choke is not that bad for us. But I have to make sure I don't get instant one shot. See on this engage. So I play to get out. And I noticed that Draven was caught off. So I'm going through Draven. And we end up killing two of them. Looks like they engaged too early. The main thing I have to keep in mind in these team fights is that to not get um, Rel, Skarner's chain CC into Draven's. Uh, fighting choke there is like quite good because we have a lot of uh champions that can 
go over walls. Well, it's just me and Camille, but like we are the main carriers of this game. Now we're just clearing again. Pushing mid here. Have free time. Kind of talks when I'm taking waves, but I'm trying to carry this game, so taking as much gold to be unkillable is quite important for me. Get Scarner, let me just keep going. This Cockroach Kha'Zix, very useless this game. And this, this is why this matchup, like, it can go both ways, but it's more Hecarim Fear just because he clears off faster. I feel like if you're playing Kha'Zix Sod uh, in Smash Up, you should play Conquer and you should just play to have a good invade timer to where you can slow down his clear. Because you are very strong in the 1v1, but it's scary to fight him when he has Q stacks, right? And we're planning to build Sterax third. Very good because they have lost QC reds and I get a fat HP shield. But Pharrell can break the shield though, sadly, but you know, that's just like champ design diff. And we're just trying to group, make close. If we're one regrouped, we are strong. And I also want to get my strike, so I'm trying to find gold. I don't have camps, so I'm playing for their camps. And like, a tower. And on my TFCC, I look for a ult. And usually for Akram. You don't want to be primary engage uh, a good amount of time, but you want to be the secondary engage usually. Unless, of course, like you can go in first, which only is a, a good indicator to know when you can go in first is when you are gonna kill that target like pretty, like high, like high percentage, very high percentage. You're gonna kill the target, and you're able to. And it's not like a picture of one for one, um, and you're able to go into the next target slowly. That's like usually a good indicator uh, that you can. Engage first, usually. My team wanted to play mid somehow. Don't know how that happens. Feels good though. Get yeah, easel flash. Probably scared that I have ults. If um, he didn't flash, I would R at the end of my E animation. And then he would get double CC'd. Also, make sure when you're taking a blast of plants, if you have a certain amount of movement speed, you're gonna go forward on the blast plant instead of going backwards. Um, if you know what I mean. If you go too fast, you're just gonna blast plant into the enemy team pretty much. Yeah, I don't know what this is Ace doing, but he's that for fun, actually. I think I'm post- Yeah, I just pop goes because, like, just kind of want to commit with my team here. Even if you think the play it might look bad, like, sometimes you just gotta go with the team. I don't want the, the guy to die for fun, you know? I think for Baron, I have three items, so... I do Baron quite fast. Not smite it, but we will have it quite soon. We have decent Baron damage, I would say. 
taking prompt tanks for me. I can do it very fast. And this is just the Hackram game. Hmm. So, Dop was, uh, I kind of slacked the last couple of days, or last two days or whatever, but uh, we have straight uploads from another two weeks again. Um, and I'll be planning to release guides. Um, a lot, I want to release a lot of different guides for everyone. So, the way to approach learning a new champion, um, for the jungle rules specifically right now, maybe I'll move on to other rules later on, but we're going to do a lot of jungle type guides. Uh, if you guys want to see like a type of guy where how... I approach learning a champion, let me know down in the comments below. I think it's very good to see what a challenger player or like a good OTP does and does to learn a new champion. Um, I've one tricked a lot of champions in the past. Champs like Hecarim, Kha'Zix, Rengar, Kindred, Graves, and I'm, I can confidently say I'm very good at these champions. I was top 10 multiple years playing these champions. So I can, I have a good idea on how to really improve um, and really look like a good OTP on them. So I can show you guys what I think about and what like the stuff I like practice. Oh, so it was just a clean wipe. I mean, they just like lost. Like I'm four, three item hack room. I can't really lose this game. 16, zero and eight. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. My first guide will be Echo, a uh, very popular jungler, and especially Portable is getting buffed next patch, so it's quite nice for Echo. And then we're gonna do probably like Hecarim and like the long awaited Xin Zhao guide that I promised to do a while back. I'm sorry, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll actually do it. I promise, but yeah. So we're gonna be releasing gameplay guides always, and every time you see like a new champion gameplay guide on this channel uh, that I don't have a guide on, I will, I will be most likely releasing a guide on that champion, so it's a pretty good giveaway uh, what guides I'll be making. So yeah, as I'm releasing uh, an Echo video very soon, uh, I'll have this Hecarim video, like these are some champions I'll be doing it on. If you guys want me to play Aurora Jungle, which I think is actually kind of a unique pick, like just like how Nico Jungle back then was very interesting to play, I can, I'll, well not I can, I will be doing Aurora gameplay quite soon. Also here, you see I'm stacking my Q, very plus, is Q3, very OP. I'm Q this guy over the wall, it's kind of funny. Oh my god, I messed that up. Yeah, well, this game's pretty much over, but if you like this video, like, comments, and subscribe, and hope to see you guys next time.